Hello everyone, it is Anna Anuska here. Welcome to Gantillo Crochet. And today we are making this traditional, classic and basic granny square in one color. We will need some yarn, the appropriate crochet hook, a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. Just now we are going to make a magic ring. This is how I make it. I place the yarn on the palm of my hand. I wrap my two fingers, forming an X. I grab my hook and I place it underneath the bottom yarn and then over the top yarn and pull it. I hold the loop with my middle finger, yarn over and pull it through. And we have created our magic ring. We can now pull from the tail and adjust its size and I will be doing this as I am working on our first round. So first we are going to chain two and this is going to count as our first double crochet. Our first round as you can see it's formed by four clusters of three double crochets and four corners created by three chains. So we will need to crochet another two double crochets to make our first cluster. I will go a little bit slower here on this one just in case you need it. chain 3 and we will make another 3 double crochets in our circle that's one double crochet two and three Now I'm going to adjust the circle a little bit so it's easier for me to work in it. We will need now to create a corner, three chains and now we will create our next set or cluster of double crochets. You can even here pull the tail out of the way We make another set or cluster of three double crochets. One, two, and three. We chain three. One, two, three. And our last cluster of three double crochets. One, two, and three. Last corner, we chain three, and we're gonna finish the round with slip stitch. We will need to do it on the top of the chain. Sometimes it is a little bit difficult to see it, so what I tend to do is that I find my I find my my double crochet and I find the V or the top of it, and I know that the V right next to it is the third chain. I insert my hook and I leave the two legs on top of it. I yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop. So we have finished our first round with the slip stitch. Let's move on to the next round. 
As you can see, we have in each corner two groups of or clusters of three double crochets with a three chain space. And in between the corners, we have a separation of two chains. So to make the next rounds, I usually use two methods and I will explain both of them so you can choose the one that is best for you. For the first method, I will chain three. We are going to start making the half corner of the first corner, if that makes sense. So I will make two double crochets in this space. One and two. See, so now we have created half a corner. And to jump into the next corner, I will chain two. And now we are ready to create the next corner. So three double crochets first. Chain three. And three double crochets to finish the corner. Now we can see the whole corner there. To jump into the next corner, we will chain two and create our corner again with two groups of three double crochets and a chain of three in between them. And that's our second corner. We will keep working like this in this round and I will see you at the end of the round. So I am here at the end of the round. I need to make my last three double crochets. One, two, and three. I chain three. And I finished the round again with a slip stitch and remember that we needed to find the third chain and I used the same method. I look for the double crochet, the V of the double crochet and right before that V, it will be the V of the last chain. So I will slip stitch into that chain. And we have finished round number two. Now. I'm going to explain how to use the, the other method. So what I do is that I will make what we call a false double crochet. I think that you call it like that in English. So I pull my loop a little bit. I insert my hook in the space, yarn over, pull through and pull through both loops. So that's a single crochet. And now I chain one. I will need two double crochets into this space. One and two. To jump on the next space, I will chain two and three double crochets. One, two, and three and to jump into the corner we need two chains i've reached right now the corner again 
and I will create my corner. So three double crochets, one, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets. One, two, and three. And I will continue like this till the end of the round. So I'm at the end of the round. I need to finish this corner with three double crochets. One, two, oops, and three. Chain three. I will close the round with a slip stitch and this time remember I don't have a three chain I have my false double crochet so I need to find again where to make the slip stitch as always I it's easier for me to find the double crochet and then write the stitch that is right next to that V that will be my right stitch to finish the round with a slip stitch again and we have finished the next round. I will make another one more round and then I will show you how I finish the granny square. I'm finishing the round, I just need my three chains. I'm going to pull the loop and I'm going to cut my yarn. I pull the tail all the way through, then I take my tapestry needle, I find the double crochet in the middle, the V, and I insert my needle from back to front, I get it through slowly and I will form now the last stitch, the last V. Slowly I pull it and I insert my needle into this last stitch. I go to the back and because that stitch is a little bit loose we just adjust that stitch. We go to the back and we will insert in between the stitches at the back to wave the end. So now we have in there, as you can see, the V. And now we are going to wave the end through the stitches. However you do it. I just do it this way, so you can see. So when you feel that you waved long enough, you just cut your yarn and now to wave the tail in the middle I do it this way so I use again my tapestry needle and in the same direction of this end I wave it through the stitches it's very easy this one and I can even pull the tail so I can adjust again the circle if I want to. And when you have waved long enough the tail you can cut it off. And this is the result of our granny square. I hope this video has been useful for you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.